Jared, 2 on when did you always feel you were in control of that one though tonight? Yeah, I think there was a sense of control from us. Um, obviously, with them getting the penalty late on, it's always a bit nerve-wracking for the last five minutes. But we we hung in there, and I think all in all, from the game, we had a lot of control control over it. We created a lot of chances, um, but you know, we'll take the victory for sure. But it took 15 minutes to break the deadlock. How much did Saeed need that goal tonight? Yeah, no, he's been. I think he's been his quality. You can I see every day in in training, um, and you know when it's not going for you like me at the start of the season, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But you see the quality tonight. He's his mindset, he's, just, he's a strong character and the free kick tonight shows his, shows his quality and I think all night he was a, he's a menace as well and you know he got 1v1, went past his defender, put balls into the box and you know it's what, what I see every day. Well you found your flow, the goal tonight, quite some strike but just talk us through it because Emerson had it and you were, I, I saw you screaming for it running up the centre pretty much the whole way. Yeah no, I think there was one about 10 minutes before when Emmy went down the left again and went bigger towards Vladdy. Um, but I'm always kind of in that, especially when the fullback's going forward to get in that pullback position. Um, and the ball came and I think the main thing was the first touch that set it up for the for the goal. You know, I can controlled it well and then it was about shifting it and hitting the hitting the target, hitting it with power. Um, and I think I'd done that so you know delighted for another goal. Well that is your third goal in this campaign, your sixth in total for West Ham in European competition. That's, that's actually put you as West Ham's joint top European scorer in history. How do you feel about that? <laughs> no, it's good. You know, I want to be, be on the records and, you know, we want to go far in, in these European competitions. Um, you know, scoring goals helps that as well. Have you set yourself a target this season? I think it's more of just the same of, of last year. Um, I think people look at me differently now in terms of, you know, I've come and established myself, played for my country, so there's a different expectation, there's a different pressure for me to, to deliver. Um, so for me, it's just the same as what it was, if not better than last year. I think it's the consistency now of results that West Ham are getting. Was there a point that you felt it changed into this run of form? Uh, I think going into the international break, obviously we didn't pick up the results we wanted, probably performances as well. So I think international break came at a good time for us to, to go away and come back, fire and come back. And since we've come back, we've had two Premier League games, two Europe games, we've won every game. So I think the main thing now, I think I spoke about it before, was confidence and momentum comes from winning football games. And when there's games coming every four days, it's a great way to build confidence and a great way for momentum to go on to the next game and on to the next game and just keep winning. And finally, you just need one point to qualify. You're almost there. You are definitely playing after Christmas, but the confidence there that you can go on and win this group. Yeah, that's 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 the aim. And I think you look, we look at what we've done last year. We topped the group, um, finishing first. Um, so of course that was that was the aim this year as well. Um, so you know, two tough games to come up, but you know, we want to if we can win six out of six, you know, we'll be delighted. Awesome, Jared. Thank, thank you very you. much.